that matter how many times I'm rejected, I know what I want and I'm gonna keep trying. You can't play the victim if you want to basically do anything with your life, whether it's business, personal, whatever. Hey guys, it's Thursday, May the 28th, about 11.20 in the morning. I am headed to pick my dog up from the groomer. My kids are at their homeschool class this morning. They go three days a week to a homeschool tutoring program so that I can work in peace. Um, that's not going so well this week because on Tuesday I had to take my oldest son to the orthodontist. Yesterday I had to take my third son to the eye doctor because he got hit in the eye with an umbrella. He has a bruised eyeball and a very small tear on the outer covering of the eye but they said that would heal just fine. And then today my dog has a grooming appointment. Granted, it's not very far from me, but still it is taking time out of my day that I could be working. But I did just finish an ebook that was about 43,000 words. Um, that's 126 pages, if you're wondering, just to get the scale of that. I've been working on that for the past six weeks, so I don't know, if if I have a few less hours this week, then so be it. My brain needs a little bit of a rest. But anyway, I was reading um, a comment on Facebook earlier in a group that I'm in. It's actually a group for writers. And it got me to thinking, and so I wanted to talk to you for a quick minute while I am driving because this is a really good opportunity for me to do that. Um, the person was talking about how they think that the website Upwork is a scam because they went on there and the only thing they saw were very low paying jobs. Now, if you're trying to work from home, if you're trying to run your own business from home, um, you know, you're always going to have those people that want to pay you pennies or even want you to work for free. That's, that's what happens. That doesn't mean that you have to do that. You absolutely do not have to do that. Um, but the overall, um, the overall tone of this person's post was it, it had a very much of a victim mentality of you know this is a scam because this is what I've seen. It's not fair that they're doing this. I'm never going to find work. Blah blah blah. Okay, this is kind of the thing that you need to remember. And if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know that I don't I don't really sugarcoat things. It's not my personality, and I know that there are people who will not receive my words because of that, but there's also people that I really resonate with, so I'm just going to be myself. You can't play the victim if you want to basically do anything with your life, whether it's business, personal, whatever. Um, you, you can't blame other people for, you know, your shortcomings or for whatever. I mean, yes, there may be other people who have had, you know, an influence in things that have happened in your life, but if you dwell on that and never move forward, you're not going to get anywhere. I have been working for 12 years on freelancing. I, I didn't just pick this up last year, and that doesn't mean that it's going to take you 12 years to do this. What I'm saying is I've plugged away at it a little bit at a time. During those 12 years, I've had three more kids. So there have been a lot of years that I've done little to nothing with my freelancing business. But when I picked it up again, each time I kept trying, I kept doing different things. I kept looking for other opportunities that would get me where I wanted to be. And one of the things that I did uh, last fall was that for the first time I purchased a course online and I will link it below if you're interested in checking it out. It's called Writing for Money. I am not an affiliate. I'm not sponsored. I'm not getting anything for this. I paid for the course myself. It was over $600, I think. But within the first three weeks, I made all my money back because I got my first job on Upwork um, doing that. But my point is you can't give up. You can't look at something for five minutes and then decide that it's not working and 
you know, oh, woe is me. That That's not the attitude that is going to get you where you want to be. And I have to run in the store right quick. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. <laughs> uh, sorry about that disruption in the train of thought. But um, so basically what I was saying is that you can't take the approach to it of, oh, woe is me. You know, this isn't working out. Maybe you've submitted a proposal or a pitch and you were either rejected or didn't hear anything at all. Maybe you've done this two, three, four times and you haven't had any success. That's kind of the way it goes. Um, a lot of these things are a numbers game and you have to keep applying and keep pitching and keep putting yourself out there. And the more that you do this, the better you will get and eventually you will have success. My first proposal was not accepted. My third, fourth, or fifth proposal was not accepted. I think I submitted a dozen proposals or more. I don't know the exact number, but it was, it was quite a few before I ever had one that was accepted. Now, and like I said, within the first three weeks of the course, I made my money back. I had a job that paid $600 and that's around the price of what Abby's course was, I believe, at the time. Um, so, I mean, it's a no-brainer, you know? You keep trying. My One of my mottos in life is that the worst that anybody can say is no. So if you ask and you pitch and you put yourself out there and somebody says no or they, they don't respond at all, you haven't lost anything other than the little bit of time that it took you to put that pitch together. And actually, it gives you experience, you know, submitting proposals and submitting your pitches. And so you get better at it. Even if it takes you a dozen times two dozen times, three dozen times, you get better at it. Um, a story that I really love is the actor Mark Ruffalo, if you're familiar with him, I believe that's his name. He auditioned somewhere around 600 times and got rejected every single one of those times before he ever got his first gig as an actor. I mean, if that's not dedication, I don't know what is. And and now look at the success that he's had because he keeps trying. That's the point. You have to you have to keep trying and you have to decide, okay, I'm going to do this. And it doesn't matter how many times I'm rejected. I know what I want and I'm going to keep trying. Because that's how you get better, that's how you grow, and that's how you establish a business. And my persistence over the years landed me in January, my long-term client that I have now, that pays twice what I ever made working full-time as a nurse. And it makes tw it's twice what my husband makes. And I do this from home. And I have flexibility so I can work, you know, whenever I can, whether that's, you know, late at night, very early in the morning, on weekends, whenever. I can, I can do my work and I can do it from anywhere in the world that I want to. And I completely owe that to number one, God, because I believe that he ordered my steps all along the way these past 12 years. And it is, that is exactly what put me in the position to find Abby's course and to, to keep trying. And he's the one that gave me this nature of not giving up and being persistent. Um, so, I mean, honestly, you can do this if you decide that you want to do this and there's nothing that's going to stop you. But if you make excuses, you're not going to. I really like the quote by Henry Ford, and this is probably not word for word, but it goes something along the lines of, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. So what's it going to be? Are you going to continue to think that you can't and that your your success lies in luck and in everybody else's hands? Or are you going to go get it? That's all I've got for you. God bless. Bye.